I still wake up in cold sweat after having nightmares about seeing this movie in the theater. I can still smell the popcorn that I ate. I still remember that I had Sour Patch Kids. I can still feel the brain freeze from the icy that I drank. Before I get into the plot of this movie here, I just have to take a drink. To me, there are three kinds of movies in this world. There are those movies that you watch because you love and appreciate film as an art form. There are those you watch because you just want to be entertained and have some fun. And then there's Sharknado, the movie that you watch because you lost a very big bet. She comes across as really monotone and doesn't really seem to care what's happening. I feel like if Callie had shown emotion during that part of the film, we as an audience would get to see some humanity in her. I know Fox released a statement saying, the bear does not rape Leonardo DiCaprio, and I thought, I wasn't even thinking of rape when I saw that footage. It's very much a thinker's movie, and because of that, it has a very slow pace, but you're really invested in the characters, and the dialogue is really great. There was that magic of seeing these characters get together for the first time ever, and it couldn't be recaptured with this movie because it's the sequel. When the main character is rescued, uh, you don't know whether he's insane or not. It just reminded me of the remake of Psycho. It's like, you're not, you're really doing these scenes again, but not adding anything really new. It has problems, but it's still better than that other non-Godzilla movie that came out in 1998. If there was any opening day for a movie that I would go back in time to see, I would pick Empire Strikes Back, just so I could go there, turn around when the big reveal happens and see the audience's reaction when Darth Vader says, I am your father. Batman vs Superman was supposed to be an event film. Huh? When you look at it, you're thinking, oh my God, this is gonna be so awesome. This is gonna be an event film on the level of the Avengers and Star Wars The Force Awakens. It's gonna be amazing. And then you watch the movie and you're like, Oh, if you want to see more of me and watch me curse, you can go to therealmrrobinson.com for movie reviews, let's plays, and podcasts, and The Real Mr. Robinson on YouTube. And as always, this is The Real Mr. Robinson telling you there is only one.